what's up welcome back to my channel so today I am gonna be doing something a little bit different as you can see from the title I know that I always say that I'm doing something different but I actually do like to vary my videos quite often so um, today I'm gonna be doing a video based on the tips or what I recommend when you come to Vegas if you have never came before or whatever the case might be um, so I have a little list here but before we get into the video I do want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel give me a like and yeah I think with that being said we can go ahead and get into this video okay you guys so I know that you guys are probably thinking like oh my god she moved to Vegas now she wants to give us tips or she thinks she knows what like everything about Vegas um, no I don't know everything but I do know a few things um, I actually if you guys didn't know this um, I've been coming to Vegas since I was six years old probably smaller but since I remember I've been coming to Vegas since I was six and yeah I like my family just really enjoys coming sometimes we would come twice a month I mean twice a year but for sure we would come at least once a year and throughout the years obviously um, when I was smaller when I like I wasn't responsible for paying for uh, for any of the hotel or the drinks or anything like that my mom would obviously pay um, I didn't realize how expensive it could get or I just didn't really it wasn't in my worries to just think about oh my god how much we're gonna spend on this or saving money anything like that um, until I got older and then until recently when we started coming more often and obviously yeah now that we're older I get to pay for my shit so yeah my mom's not here to pay for me so now I have to pay for myself um but yeah like I figured out some tips uh to not only save you guys money but just what to expect and just yeah just some general tips that hopefully they um work out for you guys just because you know even though I haven't I don't know everything about being a local here I do know about visiting Vegas and I know what people go through sometimes so first thing one thing that really not not stresses me out but i wish um like these girls had like a friend to tell them or someone that has been here before um to tell them this and when i see this quite often i actually see it every time i go to the strip and it's all because sometimes we're not informed about what to expect or you come and you just don't know you know and you just want to look cute so what i recommend is for you guys to bring comfortable shoes i know i know for us girls we want to look super cute and we want to be wearing heels and we think we're gonna last in heels we are gonna do some walking around the strip wear some comfortable shoes maybe later in the night um you can wear your heels out to the nightclub or to wherever you're gonna go party to um definitely no heels trust me with this you're gonna be dying i was looking at some videos earlier and some guy mentioned that the strip is actually four miles long so just imagine you walking four miles in heels yeah it, i know you look cute but you're gonna be in pain and you're gonna be walking funny and it's always better just to like why not just wear cute sandals some cute shoes trust me that's like a lifesaver so um that's something that i recommend also comfortable clothes if you do come like in the summertime I mean, I always check the weather wherever I'm I'm traveling, even if I go, I'm going back to Cali. I always check just to see what I should expect to wear or the weather, you know. Um, same here. Always remember to check the weather. Usually in the summertime, it's always like past 100 degrees. So definitely wear something very comfortable. Um, shorts, jeans, maybe if you feel like you're going to be comfortable in them. But definitely wear like ice well i always wear cute dresses like this like short dresses this is a short and it's comfortable you know i'm i could walk all day in it and i'll be cool um but yeah definitely be comfortable in your clothes as well number two is buying alcohol okay so once you get to the strip everything is gonna be super expensive mcdonald's is gonna be like 10 bucks um it's just gonna the, the prices are obviously gonna um go up because you are in a tourist place so you know they do want to 
make money they have to maintain the strip so they need to pay people for that that's why they need to get more money out of you so um definitely something i recommend is going a little bit outside of the strip maybe you guys can come henderson is probably a little bit further there's probably like north las vegas that you can you guys can find like a little market um a little albertson's a little food for less or something find a store like that get yourself a 12 pack or whatever um and just walk around the strip if you are going to be walking around walk around the strip with your beer whatever um one thing i do want to say that i didn't know about until recently um some lady was like oh did you know that we don't allow bottles uh glass bottles on the strip and i didn't know that because i went into a cvs to buy a talk can and she's like yeah um, i mean uh, it was a beer like the the 40 ounce and she's like yeah we don't allow that so and I'm like, okay, I don't want to get in trouble. So I went back and I changed it for another one. So for a talk can. So definitely always, you know, I've seen people walk around with it. But maybe if, it, if it's a cop, like if a cop sees you, he'll probably tell you. But if he doesn't see you, well, you're getting away with it. But, you know, just be safe. Um, just to be safe, you know, just don't... Um, drink out of a bottle you don't want to get get it taken away from you that's gonna ruin your night another little tip um for you guys is um a lot of people do know this but sometimes like you're a little lazy i know i'm a little lazy sometimes when people have told me like okay if you sit down they'll give you like a free beer or free drink um usually at the strip it's pretty packed so it's kind of hard for like the waitress to get to you um, you could sit there for like an oh, hour, eventually they're going to get to you. But in downtown, since it's not that crowded, um, it's faster for you to get like a free drink if you sit down and play. So you could put a dollar, pretend you're playing or something, and then get your drink, leave. I know that sounds really cheap, but if you're on a budget, maybe that's a good thing for you that you didn't know about. Um, just make sure you like put at least like a dollar or two so that you can seem like, or like play a little bit at least, you know, don't just sit there because i don't think they'll give you one if you just sit there okay parking parking um barely this changed i remember the past years we used to come we used to just go into the valet and then just give the the valet person like two dollars and we were good like we would just park our car there and then um just leave and walk around now this has changed and now parking is at least ten dollars i think it depends on how, how long you take um they time it so I think now I feel that getting an Uber might be an option for you guys if you guys do plan on staying there for a while and then walking around or something or maybe, yeah, just going from hotel to hotel or something, you know, maybe you guys can pitch in. I think that's like, that would be a cheaper route rather than taking your car, having to park it. Usually we would do that just because it was cheaper than paying an Uber, but I feel like an Uber might be a little bit cheaper, you know, unless you want to park your car there and everything is near you because um there are some places that kind of you're you get tired of walking to because it seems close but like i said like the casinos are very large places if you start going into casinos casinos um you're gonna get tired so it just it depends on you i would say take an uber but if you really want to drive you don't want to take an uber then definitely um your car it's gonna be at least ten dollars to park it um valet i think it's like 20 yeah so I think it varies um, from hotel to hotel. I think Circus Circus is free, but um, I do think um, Circus Circus is a little bit like further than the strip. So I don't know if you guys want to walk that much. That would be really, really far. Okay, for nightclubs, um, we, were, we don't really go to nightclubs for the most part. We go to like pool parties, but so I'm going to give you guys what I know about the pool parties. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's the same thing about the night with the nightclubs. So with the day clubs that's what a pool party is um basically we get in, in contact with a promoter and the promoter gives us like a deal like oh hey um if you get on my guest list um you know i can get you this much for this much or i can get you in free just you know you get a deal on the bottle or whatever so definitely reach out to a promoter because that's way cheaper they get commission out of it i believe so it's good for them too if you reach out to one or if you um, um, go without the promoter and just pay regular, it's more expensive, obviously, because you're going to have to be paying for the entrance and all of that. So definitely, I would recommend look into getting a promoter. Like a promoter, they always want to be contacted. So you guys can probably just... I, I, I search up um, 
hashtags so i'll search up like <clears throat> las vegas tail guest list or something like that and then usually most likely you'll find a promoter it's so easy to find them especially in vegas and they'll get you in contact if they don't have that um they're not in charge of promoting for them they'll get you in contact with someone who is they all help each other out so definitely a promoter i would recommend <clears throat> if you do bring your kids guys remember that they are not allowed to be standing around actually not only kids but anybody under 21 they're not allowed to be standing around like oh let me just go watch them play no they cannot be anywhere around they will tell them they'll tell you to remove them or take them outside or whatever um yeah so definitely i would recommend that um to always have that keep that in mind it's kind of like not a place for kids but i totally understand there's been times when i don't have a babysitter or now that i'm lo local we like to go anyways just to like walk around or whatever so always just remember that they don't allow kids in the casinos they are allowed to walk through the casinos but they're not allowed to stand around so um oh yeah that's something that i do recommend for you guys um there is a casino circus circus that has like kids um activities they have like a kind of like a carnival thing and then they have rides um upstairs that's like one place that's kid friendly not like the casino part of it but the like the fact that there is like a circus you know so that's one thing that i recommend if you guys have kids um other than that it's not really like too much of a kid atmosphere okay another thing that i have seen here um driving through the boulevard las vegas boulevard um that kind of bugs me now because i mean any well i feel like it bugs everybody right because sometimes even if you're not a local maybe you're just driving by and you're you know trying to get to your hotel or your uh, yeah your hotel um something that kind of bugs me is when people don't respect the traffic rules so if the light is red you guys please remember to respect that because sometimes you know there's so many people that things can happen to you and you don't want that to happen you know just um even though it's a big city it gets crowded just remember to always just respect the drivers and everybody because we're all trying to get somewhere we're all in a hurry you know but yeah, that's another tip for you guys okay you guys and i think that's like the last um i think that was like seven tips for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope you guys find these tips helpful and if, if you guys do have any questions please leave them down below in the comments i'll be sure to reply to them um if i did leave some stuff out maybe i can do like a part two or something but these are like the main ones that i have noticed throughout the years that you know i i was thinking the other day i was like that's something helpful because maybe a lot of people don't know and they come into it and then they're like fuck you know i should have never done this so now you get to avoid these things you know and it's better and you don't have to be stressed out about that so um yeah i think with that being said you guys that's gonna be the end of this video thank you so much for watching my video please don't forget to give me a like subscribe to my channel um check out my boutique i do have this dress for sale it will be restocked this week and yeah like this would be a cute outfit to take to vegas actually and yeah you guys i think with that being said i'll talk to you guys next time bye